So hello and welcome to the second video. In this video I'm gonna show you how to get rid of the front I.O. panel failure. So first I did basically the same thing as with the power button. I cut off um, with my scissors this piece from the original cable from from this thing here. Just cut it off with the scissors and then you're gonna end up with, with something like this. This piece. Here it's cut off. And then I plugged these wires into my um, my HDD LED from the front panel so hope to get it to focus so plus is red and black is minus just plug them in and you, now you can just secure it with tape and if you still get the front IO panel failure you have to plug in this cut uh, green connector from the original board because some front connectors they will still trigger the front IO panel failure and then you just have to plug in the front panel to the blue USB internal connector so what I had to do is just cut this off with scissors leave it as it is and plug in the HD LED from the front panel as shown here plug it into the, the board where it was and then you can just start up uh, the optiplex without getting any error messages if you get the f power button failure check out the previous video where i explain how to get rid of the power button failure